Police are investigating what they're calling a suspicious death in North Whitehall Township. And a body was found in a wooded area off of Route 309 and Game Preserve Road at about 9.45 this morning. The victim has been identified as 27-year-old Jennifer Snyder. Jennifer Snyder's family says she was two months pregnant. The cause of death is attributed to uh, multiple gunshot wounds. Investigators say the gun used to kill 27-year-old Jennifer Snyder matches the gun that belongs to her boyfriend, 30-year-old David Rappaport. Jen never would have left us worry. I did not have a good feeling. And Jen would have never not called after the ultrasound. My mind knows that it has happened, but my heart doesn't. We were strictly looking at maternal mortality, what women were dying of during pregnancy. What we found was the surprising part, that the leading cause of death during pregnancy was homicide. Killing Jennifer was the worst possible solution. I was no solution at all. I call these eraser killings. They want to erase them from the book of life. They want to start over and get this chapter completely erased. I thought maybe an accident, something else happened, but not murder. These are not isolated issues. There is truly a population of women that are at risk for losing their life. In some of the cases in our homicide study, there wasn't prior physical violence at all. But many of them described a pattern of controlling behavior. Abuse doesn't never start off physical, it starts off mentally. Power and control is a stronger predictor for lethal domestic violence than even physical abuse. I think that the combination of a loss of control and anything that could be defined as, as humiliating, probably why you would see somebody who's not been violent in the past, suddenly it looks sort of explosive. Oftentimes these homicides get covered as just one more instance of crime rather than domestic violence. What we've seen are very explicit patterns of victim blaming. The media tend to be particularly guilty of this. Well, what was she doing? It doesn't matter. It's not okay to hit and it's certainly not okay to kill. There's another day that doesn't pass where a woman has not been a victim of violence. I think we just need to start beating the drum louder and louder until people take notice. What most I fear is forgetting my sister, forgetting her voice. There's not a lot of evidence that she was here. Only by telling their stories, allowing them to speak through us, can their life not be just lost in vain. She died because she was pregnant. Right.